Hey guys, welcome back to another week here on Match Your Hair. This week I wanted to talk to you guys about something that has been in the hair game for quite some time now, but it's just continuously evolving and we're learning new tips and tricks and patterns and placements and textures all the time. Today I wanted to show you guys how to curl your hair using a flat iron. With that being said, let's just jump right in into today's tutorial. Let's talk about the products that you're going to need in your tools. One of my favorite products out there that I have used for years on my clients as a heat protectant and shine spray is the Bedhead Head Brush. A client said to me once that it smelled like their childhood. I love this stuff. If your hair is a little finer, if you put too much product onto your hair, it can absolutely weigh it down. What I would suggest for you instead would be the Arn Co, the Foil and Frisk Static Spray. This is really great, not only for winter time when your hair is getting all like electric and like sticking out as if someone took a balloon to your head, but it's also really lightweight. I use this on my hair as well, I just switch off. Another product that I prep my hair with before I curl my hair is my dry shampoo, the Death Valley by Arn Co as well. If you want to see how to apply dry shampoo, check out my tutorial, 5 things you need to know about dry shampoo. I talk about the application and I also give a great example how to brush your hair out after you apply the dry shampoo. So there's that. You always need a hairspray to hold your hair. It depends on if you're heavy handed or light handed when it comes to hairsprays. If you are heavy handed, I would recommend using a more flexible hairspray. The one that I'm going to use today is the Vicious by Arn Co. Another product that you can absolutely utilize when curling your hair, if you are someone who is needing fullness and volume and texture, dry texture spray by Moroccan Oil. You have to be careful though, if you put too much on, it can get too gritty. After putting heat onto your hair, you absolutely need to hydrate her. One oil that I love to use that's super lightweight and is great on all hair types is the Tinsel by Arn Co. I love to put this on my hair wet and also dry. Dry a little bit really does go a long way and I never feel like it weighs it down. So I'll talk about the usage there. Let's talk about the tools that we're going to need. I absolutely need to always have my rake comb with me. This is a great way to brush the curls out without making them too flat. Sometimes we have too much on our hands, whether it's product or oils, and just putting that to your hair will add just extra moisture, which is not something we're looking for. Think about how many things we touch all the time, you guys. My wet brush, you guys know I love this guy. A crocodile clip, this is great to section the hair. Last but not least, the most important, my GHD flat iron. This is the one inch, and it is the rose gold edition. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is brush my hair out. And depending on how you want to part your hair, I would suggest just parting it to that. After she's brushed, I'm just going to go from like where my ears are right here, right above at the very top, and just go all the way back and create a horizontal line. And I'm just going to clip that up, get it out of the way. Then I'm going to take the hair divide it back into the middle and pull it forward. So as I said, I've already prepped my hair with the dry shampoo. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of heat protectant before I go in and curl. If you are someone who's heavy handed, I would suggest maybe applying it before you go in and section it out. That way you don't have to keep reapplying. Also, if you're in a time crunch, that's a great way to help. So let's talk about placement. As you can see, these curls are gonna lay right over here and then these are gonna lay on top of it. I don't want these curls to be too curly because everything else will get bigger and bigger and that's kind of where you get that awkward like triangular square shape that's not flattering. So I'm gonna break these into two. I always want hair around the hairline going away from the face and then directly right next to it, a curl going towards the face. Positioning of your hands and how to make sure you have healthy wrists. So you're gonna come in like this. Every flat iron has this nice beveled edge, so if you give it just a little twist, it's gonna go in and curl the hair. I like to compare this to reaming a ribbon with scissors. Same exact concept. I'm not gonna start the curl from up here. I'm more gonna start a couple of inches down. If you have someone who has like some frizz, you can just give her a little swoop, smooth it out. So I'm gonna start there and I'm just gonna twist once. And slowly and consistently make sure that my hair is following and go kind of quickly when it comes to the end. 
So you want these ends to be nice and smooth and flat versus more of like a glam curl. That's gonna give you that sexy, messy beach texture. If you do over curl, that's totally fine. When you first curl the hair, it is super malleable and hot, so you can just pull it right out and make it a little softer. So this curl's going away from the face. I'm gonna have this one go towards. I'm gonna curl the flat iron this way versus this way. A couple inches down and twist forward. Same concept here, keep your tails clean, and then go a little quicker when you get to the end. So now you can see this curl is going towards this next one. So they're kissing right here. <laughs> so there's that, love that, that looks great. This curl is gonna go away from the face. Instead of the butt of the flat iron being up, now I'm gonna have it down a little bit more angled. But same concept, just a shloop. Follow my tail. Keep my sections nice and clean, and then go a little faster towards the end. It is a little bit curlier, just like right here, more of like not the same curl I want. So I'm just gonna pull it out with my fingers. In concept, go a couple inches down from the root, and then twist the opposite direction, and then go a little quicker towards the end. You can kind of enhance the curl and pull your finger through it. You don't have to, it's gonna curl regardless. But same thing here, now these are kissing. I never really wanna brush the curl out until it's nice and cooled down unless I'm trying to pull the curl out. So what I'll do is I'm gonna push these to the back, let them sit. So the next one, I kinda of wanted to start from the top of my ear and everyone's head shape is different but towards my temple. And stop kind of halfway through and do the same thing on the other side. Divide it down the middle, pull it forward, use my heat protectant. Applying my heat protectant more towards the middle and ends of my hair versus the root. I'm going to start from the middle and the back and then work my way forward. I'm going to have this go away from my face. So these curls are okay if they're a little bit more curlier. I want a little bit more movement, a little bit more bounce. And then this one's gonna go towards the face. I'm taking about a couple inches of a section. I want a dense section. I don't want it to be too small or too big. Too small could make it look weird and awkward and frizzy, and too big would just not show enough movement and texture. So if this one was away, that's okay if this one also ends up being away as well. The hairline, you always wanna make sure it's away from the face. And the hairline, just make it a little bit curlier because naturally you are touching that a little bit more. And I'm gonna follow all the way through on the ends there. I want the front pieces, the hairline, to be fully curled because I'm gonna brush it out and I may possibly add more curl or smooth it out. But at the beginning, I love to curl it all the way just in the front hairline. I'm gonna work my way on the next section. So the way you hold your flat iron on each side of your head will vary. I just recommend trying it out and seeing what's most comfortable for you. This one will be towards the face. Smoke coming from the product and not your hair. Let's talk about the heat temperature real quick. Everyone is making their flat irons and curling irons way too freaking hot. If I'm cooking a chicken at 350 degrees, imagine what that's doing to your hair. So that one's way too curly for me in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go in, take both of these pieces, kind of just pull it out. Yeah, much better. I'm not afraid ever to go in and flat iron a piece if I need to. Over here's density that will depend on how many sections you take. I'm gonna part in the middle, so I'm gonna break these two top sections into two. Nobody is meant to be like the most perfect symmetrical human being ever, so if one side of your hair ends up having more hair than the other, that's totally fine. My right side has way less hair than my left side. Just like how one boob is bigger than the other. If you have like a crazy amount of uneven hair, or say for example, you're gonna part on the right side, so the right side will have more hair naturally, 
What I would recommend doing so that way both sides seem full and balanced is the side that has less hair, make the curls a little bit tighter so that way when you brush it out, it expands a little bit more. The side where you have more hair, I would recommend making the curls a little bit more softer and collapsed. Honestly, you guys, don't spend that much time worried and focused about the back anyhow, like if you are on a time crunch, because all the hair on the top will lay on top of it anyways. So this, you can tell, is just like a little bit weaker and finer over here. I'm just going to go in and combine these two together. Otherwise, I'm just going to get an awkward, small section. And like I said, this is going to be a little bit curlier. And then same thing on this side. It's a little bit finer around my hairline. So I'm going to use this section. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. I, you guys will be seeing, like, I sometimes I go in and, like, really ravel the hair around the flat iron. That's just because I can control it a little bit better. If you want to start off with just doing a little and then going in and fully turning it and twisting it, it just takes time to feel comfortable holding the flat iron. My last section! Yay! So your last section in your hairline, you always want the curls to go away from the face. These top sections, I always kind of make them a little bit curlier and I polish the curl all the way through because it just adds more volume and fullness. It really depends on your hair texture and whether or not your hair holds curl. My hair holds curl pretty well, so I am lucky, but if your hair doesn't hold curl, I would recommend using hairspray as your heat protectant. A little bit goes a long way. Also making your curls just a little bit tighter. In weddings, I always make the hair a little bit curlier. Um, usually I'm there early in the morning and I know they have tons of pictures, lots of champagne, lots of things to do before the wedding actually happens. So if you have an event, I would say just make it a little curlier. So this section, I'm just gonna do one. So you guys saw that I had more sections on this side of the hair than this. It's all about the symmetry and the final look. Okay, so now I curled my hair. I'm just gonna give a good hairspray. And I'm just gonna let her cool for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna brush it right out. And I'm gonna start off with my rake comb. So I'm just gonna slowly brush it out. Yeah, you see how she's just like expanding, getting bigger. I'm loving how that's working. I'm gonna go on to the next side. There's a little bit more volume going on on this side than this side, and that's okay. What I'm gonna go in and do is break up the dry shampoo. Go in and get some more volume, texture. And I'm gonna use my fingers, my hands are clean. And you can just see the hair is getting bigger and bigger and kind of opening up a little more. I'm loving the way these two are framing my face, but I need a little bit more movement right here. A lot of the times what I'll do is after I curl a client and brush it out, I just go back into the part line and add some more curls. I just love how much more movement it gets and just breaks it up. I'm not even going to carry the curl down to the ends. I just really want the movement in the top. So you see how that just like breaks it up, adds so much more. I'm gonna let that sit before I brush it out, but I'm gonna go in and hairspray it a little more. So I'm loving the way this is looking. I'm hoping you guys are too. What I'm gonna do next is take my texture spray and talk about this. This is great for somebody who doesn't have the fullness that they want. What I would recommend is opening the hair up like this, spraying, and breaking it up. I just curled this. I want these sides to look symmetrical. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna hold this up with my comb and I'm just gonna hairspray underneath. And then I can go in and kind of brush it down if I need to. And that's when I'm just gonna utilize the back of this comb. This is really where you get to play um, and kind of figure out what works best with your hair, depending on everyone's texture. And just because I am a freak, I'm gonna recurl this one so that way it's the most symmetrical. and pull it out. I'm just gonna like give it a second. I know that's really curly, but my flat iron has already hit this piece twice now and I don't want it to hit it again. 
I also really love utilizing ears, like tucking that piece back will calm the curl down in all the right places and all the right ways that I want it to. And then I'm just gonna pop her back out and it's gonna be such a beautiful curl. So now that I put all this heat onto my hair, what I'm gonna do next is apply a little bit of oil. So one pump, taking it into my hands, rubbing the product around. You barely can even see any product. There's just so little. And hydrate. As you guys saw in my tutorial, five things you need to know about dry shampoo, you know that I love to flip my head over, give some more movement, and then pull it forward. Yeah, just love what that did. It's not a must, and if you are frizz prone, I don't recommend it, but come on, look at that, what that just did. All right, you guys, how does my hair look? Love this curl because it's such a soft, sexy, messy beach wave that I can do it lounging around in the house or whether I'm going out. The curls last me several days. I only feel like I need to touch up a couple on the top. I have to curl all my colors because the curls just show it off. All these pictures of balayage on Pinterest, on Google, they're all curl. If you are curling your hair all the time, that you just need to be hydrating it. It is damaging on the hair and doing it excessively can absolutely cause breakage. Remember to use your heat protectant and your oils and your deep conditioning treatments to help ensure your hair's health. Remember, healthy hair is the most important. Here you guys have it. That is this week's tutorial, how to curl your hair using a flat iron. I hope this video was super helpful out there. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what worked for you. Let me know what didn't. I wanna hear all about it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this week's episode. I am so thankful for all of you out there and I will see you guys next week. Bye.